Welcome to the first part of the tutorial Stereoscopic Compositing using the SVI Stereo Editor for After Effects. In this tutorial I will show you how to use the 2 d to Stereo plugin together with After Effects to build up a stereoscopic composition. At first we need a new composition call it 2D2 Stereo and we have firstly to import some images to build up our composition. Um, we will start by inverting a background. The first thing we should know is that the background layer uh, should named by a prefix BG, which means background, uh, that lets the plugin know that we want this as background layer. The second, what we must do is to scale the background layer to the composition size and scale up a little bit more to avoid black borders when using the 2D to stereo plugin. Um, next we could build up our composition as usual. I will insert some objects, small tigger, and another fence. A little scaling on these objects. Oh, I think it's enough. Um, now we have the layers in order, uh, the background, then a small fence, the tear and a little bigger fence. And how we should now apply the effect, we must insert an adjustment layer. I will call it effect layer. And this layer must be of the same size as the composition. And this layer is needed to apply the stereoscopic effect. We will do this by selecting the SVI 2D to stereo effect on this layer. And now we see the effect control panel with um, several controls. The first important control is the stereo mode. This controls the output of the stereoscopic plugin. I think Anaglyph is fine for the moment, but one can also generate side by side, top bottom, or a tiled format like 2 by 2.5 or 3 by 3. Uh, the next is uh, the camera alignment. This defines how the cameras should align in order. And important controls are the projection plane, that's the plane on which uh, objects appear exactly on the screen surface. This is in fact the distance of our camera. The near plane distance defines how, uh, how far objects pop out of the screen and the far plane distance defines how far objects dive into the screen. With these settings we define in fact that objects appear at the screen surface and to uh, an amount of 3000 pixels into the screen. Uh, the relative deviation controls the maximum displacement of layers and the higher value generates uh, less displacement. Um, now we could see what happens if we apply the effect. We hit update composition to do that and we see that uh, only the background appears anaglyphic and the um, other layers inserted appears at the screen surface. That means uh, they reside exactly at z axis 0. And if we want to distribute these layers in order we have several options to distribute them at between near and far plane, 
here in zero plane or zero and far plane. Uh, with our settings uh, near and far and zero and far it's exactly the same because um, near plane distance and projection plane distance are the same. So we choose near far plane distribution and hit update composition again. We'll see that the uh, layers are now distributed in depth and uh, all layers except this fence dive into the screen. If we want to put some layers out of the screen we have to define uh, appropriate near plane distance and hit update composition again. So we will see that now the fence is more in front of us and we could adjust the fence you know, with more control in the in, uh, composition which is generated. So that's uh, that the fence not crop it at the borders. And we could switch back to the composition and hit update again. And now we will see the fence is uh, perfectly inside the composition and there is no uh, disturbance of the spatial effect. Um, if we want to change the order of the layers, we could simply change the layer order in the subcomposition view 1, SVI view 1, go back to the main composition and hit update composition again. And now we will see that the tiger is in front of us. Um, feel free to play with the uh, parameters to get what you want and to uh, check how the views are arranged you have also uh, a camera test which looks uh, each camera separate that's the left view in our case and that's the right view and if you finished your work you could export for example to a tiled format you can generate five views there and hit update composition again and you get a 2 by 2.5 image. That's all. Thank you and have fun with your compositing.